Hi everyone, Curry here, and today is day 17 of the Abundance Challenge. So from now, look at day 7's affirmation and then write that down in your journal on day 17. And then after you write that down, take 15 minutes to meditate upon that affirmation and write down any impressions or any envisions, uh, anything that you get while you're in your meditated state. Just write that down in your journal and reflect upon that afterwards. So as I said, I wanted to read some emails that I got from some people, and I'm gonna be doing four of them today. So the first email I got was from Bonnie, and she said, I am asking for abundance in health. And I think that's really great. It's, um, again, you can ask for abundance in anything, and it's nice that you would think about health, because most people don't really think about their health. They just go from day to day, um, just going about their life and not really thinking about different health issues that we might have, um, that we might be manifesting from some toxic talk or negative energy. So it's really good to consider you know, your health as well with this abundance challenge. So that's really great that you decided, Bonnie, that you're gonna ask for an abundance of health and to be healthy and to stay healthy. So I wish you all the best of that. Uh, the next email is from Kimberly from Connecticut and she writes, I want more abundance with money. There are so many things I want, but I don't have the money to do them. All right, so right away, Kimberly, I'm gonna tell you that you're talking in a negative tone. So don't say that there are so many things you want, but you don't have the money for them. By saying you don't have the money for them, you're actually blocking that energy in making it so you don't have that abundance. You won't have that abundance. So um, like I had said before, change your word in because you don't want that those words to go out into the universe because the universe will give you what you you put out so if you're putting out the image or the affirmation that you don't have money then the universe is saying okay well she doesn't have money therefore she doesn't want you know she's not gonna have money not that she doesn't want money but she's not gonna have money um, another thing that we do when we set those affirmations is you know we say oh well it we will be abundant it will come well that's good that's a good positive affirmation saying that it will come but we're also throwing out very um what's the word i'm looking for indiscreet i want to say messages we're not being very clear about what we want and how we want it um, I know we can't really say, well, I want this to happen in this way and expect it to happen. Sometimes it does, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, God and the angels have a different plan for us when it comes to receiving our abundance. But, for example, if you do say something on the terms of, um, I will have more money sometime in my future, um, or I will wait for the money to come, you're throwing out that to the universe and the universe is saying, okay, well, she said she she will wait for the money. She can wait for the money. So you're gonna wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. And sometimes it will come and sometimes you'll wait more. So instead of saying, you know, I, I can't wait for this and um, you know, it will come eventually start to be more specific about what you want and if you want to throw a date or a time in there you know just throw it out there to the universe and see what happens um, again I'm not saying it's going to happen at that date or time but it very well could depending upon you know how intense your energy is when you ask for it so you know try something like that that might help a little bit um, but anyways Kimberly try not to say so negative um, affirmations uh, the next email is from Judy, and she writes, I just started my own business and I want to be successful. These videos are giving me confidence. That's really great. Thank you very much. I do enjoy doing the videos. Sometimes I am not able to get to the computer right away to do the videos every day, but I'm trying to get them out there for you guys. So be patient if you wake up in the morning and you don't see a video. Um, and it comes in the afternoon or it even comes kind of towards the end of the day. So I apologize with that. Again, I'm working on a different time schedule than everybody who's viewing my videos in America. 
And then the last email wants to be known as anonymous is anonymous says, even though I don't watch these videos every day, I still get the affirmation. Uh, I still get the affirmation, write it in my journal and do the daily meditations. Is that okay? Yes, that is perfectly fine. You don't need to watch every single um, video that I do. Um, especially after day 10, we're redoing all of the affirmations that we did from day one to day 10. So you don't have to watch, you know, day 16, day 17, day 18, such and such, um, because I'm going to be just going over um, some emails that I get or talking about different issues. Um, so if you can't do the video that day or not going to be in front of the computer, don't worry about it. Just, again, go to that corresponding day for the affirmation. So day seven, you know, 17's affirmation is day seven. Just go to that corresponding affirmation, write it down and still do the meditation. That's perfectly fine. Like I said, I'm putting these videos up on YouTube to kind of remind people because we're, a lot of us are at the computer most of the time. Um, so, you know, I'm just putting these videos up there just to remind people that, okay, it's day 17, or okay, it's day 18. Um, if the videos do get to be too much, guys, let me know, and I'll come back, like, on day 20 or day 30, and then finally day 40, and I'll leave you guys to do the rest. So, you know, give me your opinions on what you want, what you want me to talk about, what you want me to, to um, explain, or what type of format you want with these videos. So, these videos are for you, so you guys can choose what type of videos you want them to be. Um, with that being said, any questions, comments, frustrations, stories, suggestions, you can send them to my Facebook site at www.facebook.com slash lightworkercurry or you can um, send them on the comments section of my YouTube videos. So that is it for now. I will see you all tomorrow for day 17 of the Abundance Challenge. I send you lots of love, light, and lots of abundant energy. Namaste.